Hello, my name is Bunny7, and welcome back to uh, Tank Crew, and, well, right now we're in the KV-1S, and I noticed there was some people saying that, in the video, that they weren't sure of the controls, so I figured, might as well make a video, because I was planning on doing a video on the KV-1 anyway, might as well make a video with the controls and the KV-1, it just makes a bit of sense, so, before we get started with the actual controls for the driver, and all that, which is the position we're currently in, we're just going to do the uh, hopping around the tank controls. Now there's two ways to move around the tank, and only one of them will get to all of the positions. That would be the uh, left control C. We are now sitting in the, uh, I believe the bow, nope, this is the gunner's position. If we hit again, we are now sitting in the commander's position. That's an interesting effect. Are we on a cliff? I think we're on a cliff. I'll look out and see. And now we're in the bow gunner's position. This position will cycle... Lift control C will cycle us through all the available positions on the tank. However, there is another way. If we're in the driver's position, instead of... And we want to get to the bow gunner's position, instead of going lift control C three times, we can go right shift and over it. Hmm. Okay, right shift 2 does actually take us there. Okay, I was under the impression that uh, right shift 2 took to the, took to the bow gunners because that's what it did in the Tiger 1. I guess not. I guess it's different for every tank. But you can use right shift and a number to take you to one of those missions and the right shift 0 will take you back to the driver. I'm still learning things about this, even now, so they, there may be things I may find out later. But now, controls for the driver. Start the tank up is uh, your standard starting key, which is E. Press that. And we're now ready to roll. Now, for actually moving the tank, under the main option setting, I'll bring it up to demonstrate. Under key mappings. In your main controls, at the very bottom, you should see vehicle accelerate slash brake and vehicle turn. This is how you uh, control the tank, moving backwards and forwards. However, one one note. For vehicle turn, if you're using Wasad, you have to go into... I believe it's still in main controls. Yes, it is. And add either another function key to uh, A, because A also toggles the autopilot, which will stop you dead in your tracks. So, to save yourself a your headache, just control A or some other combination for autopilot, and then you can use Wasad to control the movement of the tank. Demonstrated here. We are now moving. Turning right, turning left, and then if we stop and hold back, we reverse. Now let's stop before we drive ourselves off a cliff. Let's move to the gunner's position because he also has uh, some points to uh, control. Now, to take slash leave control of the gun, aka be able to look around look like I am doing right now and not have the uh, turret go crazy and follow you everywhere, T. T will then bring you back in control, and you can see through this periscope, but there's no gun sight. In order to get that, you have to nestle to the gun sight, which is shift and T. And now we have a gun sight that will follow us. Scroll wheel zooms, and you can see here. Well, that was meant to be, uh, select the mouse, but I forgot. Either way, um, you can see the, uh, along the sides of the gun sight, the vertical ladders, at least on the T on this type of gun sight. This isn't on the German gun sights. Uh, to adjust them, you can set adjustment keys. The adjustment key setting is under weapon mapping, weapon, map weapon controls. And then down here, 
this is your moving to positions and then ter take leave control. That's taking control, leave control of the gun, nest to the gun sight, see the gun sight. Fire primary turret guns, your main gun, left mouse button. Secondary is right mouse button. Reload turret guns when your coaxial machine gun runs out of ammunition, you do have to manually tell it to reload. I haven't tried gun sight filter or position toggle. Mode toggle I haven't tried either. Gun sight range adjustment is a uh, coma slash period for me that adjusts uh, the line on the gun sight. So I'm pressing uh, period right now. That's dropping this. Effectively, if there was a tank, if we move forward a little bit and away from what I think is a cliff, If there was a tank in that uh, tree there, and I knew it was roughly 600 meters away, like this tree here happened to be a tank, then instead of having to manually adjust it so that it was on 600 there, I can bring this down to 600, and then all I have to do to score a hit is place it over target and fire. And actually, that was basically dead on 600 meters. Okay, I'm better at estimating range than I thought. And then of course, your left right mouse button will fire the coaxial. That. That's right, I put ships in. We are now very dead. This also is a good this is also a good segue into bringing us into the mission I was planning on doing because I believe that should cover all the uh, controls. These are all the basic controls, so I will see you in the mission. Alright, welcome back. Let's get this mission underway. We're doing the, uh, one of the last main standing missions for the assignment in the KV-1 in the summertime, said winter. It basically, right now there's these last stand missions and there's two kind of scripted missions for each and then of course multiplayer servers they have them have the uh, tanks available that you can add in so let's uh, roll out and see what trouble we can get into of course the uh, KV-1 doesn't like turning on the spot too much Actually, shift to the driver real quick because he is directly in the center just for driving on this bridge. So I don't want to uh, fall off. That would be a might bit embarrassing, I would say. Falling off the bridge. And yeah, the bridge is still intact. I thought it was broken there for a second, but no, it's still intact. So back to the commander. Learn something new. Oh, he automatically takes a gun if you uh, do it that way. That's also something to note. Also, don't drive off the bridge, driver. I would be tempted to do the uh, cola, except this cola is solid. You have to go over to the loader side. Where from? Direct front. There it is there, Panzer IV. Fire. That's dead. There's something hitting us on our left, sounds like. Oh look, it's a half track. It was a half track. Actually, no, stay nestled that way when we you know, get off the gun. That is the one downside of doing that. Things like that happen, but, uh, you know, what? you can't ask for too much. It works. Well, to keep advancing, because I don't see anything else. I mean, I could unbutton, but that requires going all the way over to the loader's side. And it takes a long time, in which I can't see anything, in which we may get flanked. So I better see something, then nothing for a period of time. There's artillery. 
Nothing too major going on yet. There's the dead Panzer IV we shot. Don't see anything else just yet. Which is good. I prefer to approach uh, uncontested, but uh, you never know. You never know what might, might pop up. Hmm, that's a uh, H. It's got the long 75. It said the subby support 75. Okay, good. We're not stuck. I was about to say, are we stuck? But we are not stuck. That is a good thing not to be stuck, considering uh, Jerry's about. First time it's going to be a little bit harder to actually down the road. There goes the Panzer III. Oh, and there's a Panzer IV at the end of the road as well. We got hit from somewhere, although that shot went wrong in the Panzer. There we go, Panzer are dead. Time to look for the threat that's actually shooting at us. I think it's from our right. Yep, direct right. Don't see anything. Oh wait, there it is. Did we get him? I don't know. Nope. So another one. He is now dead. Traverse the turret back to the front. Because there's still enemies about. Like that truck. Just missed. As the shell goes bouncing down the street. Oh, and there's a Panzer three. Is that from the left? I think it was from the left. Where was that from? Don't see anything. Where is the thing that shot us? This I don't see it. Nope. Don't see anything. It's the dead uh, T-34. That's not a T-34. That's a Panzer 35 T, rather. Oh, there's a dead half-track over there. I didn't shoot that half-track. How'd that half-track die? Must have been uh, air support, because there's generally a flood of air support around on these missions. Now, I know there's a Panzer 3 somewhere up ahead. Was that artillery or a tank? Something shooting. Tank. Tank, 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 tank. There's a tank. There's a tank. You're now dead. Yep, it's dead. Just about to put another one in just to be sure, but now he started burning up. There's something else shooting. You're now dead. But something just got our engine. Oh dear. Is that that's from the uh That's not you, is it? No, your track is gone. Okay, you're dead. Where in the world is the thing that's shooting us?
I will find you eventually. This now uh, pillbox on tracks will find you. Or rather now pillbox. He's a sneaky old German, he is. I don't see him. Is that something hitting off our back? I wasn't sure, but... I don't think so. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, was he directly in front of us? Might have been directly in front of us. There's something also shooting to our front. Somewhere. So this is that Panzer three. Where did the Panzer three go? That's my question. Oh, there's the Panzer three. That's what shot us. That's now dead. It's very, very dead. Come on, start up. Yes, we are... I believe the term is buggered. Alright. Will you start up? Nope, I believe we are well and truly buggered. But we're still alive. So this uh, pillbox, the well, tank turn pillbox, shall uh, stay here and prevent and defend the motherland from any uh, further advances or something along those lines. I'm sure it'll say something about that. Something's up in tank. Oh, so a tank to the front. But I just saw the Panzer 35 driving over in this direction. Where'd he go? I saw him. He's somewhere over there. That's right, the destructible houses aren't in yet, I don't think. Because this is... Was that him? No, that wasn't him. There's another tank out here somewhere. Somewhere. Sounds like from the front there might be something. Or that just could be artillery. That's dead. I remember killing that. It's not behind us, is it? No, it doesn't look like it's behind us. Rare looks clear. It's somewhere to our front. Oh, there's a tank shooting right there. There's a tank driving down the street. There we go, that's one tank down. I saw another tank turning off farther ahead. But then again, uh, we can't really move. So, uh, he might still be there. Something shot close. What was that? Alright, there's something... 
to our right, or right, our left. Something is definitely on our left. I don't see anything though. What's shooting us on our left? Where are you? Stop hiding. I don't, how are you shooting us on our left if you're not on our left? I don't trust that. I think that's dead. Give him that around to be sure. Now it's definitely dead. Where is the thing that's shooting us on our left? There! Panzer IV! Is he still alive? He might be. I think there's a building in the way. Yeah, he survived because the building. Send it! Yep, he's now dead. Very good. Yes, yeah, since we're not going to be able to move from here anytime soon, I'm going to call this here. This is the... KV-1S, which is now an immobile bun bunker, or rudder, a mobile bunker that's now immobile. That's taken a bit of a beating, though. No? Take a look on the other side. Tracks are, oh, we're also detracked, as well as having our engine shot out. Just to add insult to injury, they took off our track as well. So even if we were uh, able to get the engine running, we'd still be down a track. Just took a fair old beating, though. Considering, and a lot of shots in the side. In fact, we're lucky we didn't have any penetrate in our side and kill us. But, I'd like to uh, thank our fortune and hope to see you all next time.